Welcome back to Law Call. We're talking all about family law tonight. Before the break, we had John on. We must have lost him, but we got him back. And John had a question about discipline, child discipline between divorced parents. John, you can go ahead with your question now. Yes, thank you. All right, I'm about to get my truck to my son, and he is 17 years old. And I'm going to leave the truck in my name. I'm going to provide the insurance. Can she take the truck away from him at all for any disciplinary reasons? Okay. Um, hi, John. Um, and I was even actually telling them during the break, I was like, I don't really like how I left that. So here's the thing. Um, I don't know that the court can, would necessarily condone her taking it away because if you're going to keep it in your name, you're going to pay the insurance. Um, in essence, it's your vehicle to, quote unquote, as I said, do what you want. But to some degree, though, if your son is doing something, behaving badly, I do or I would encourage that that would be a conversation that the two of you would need to have. Um, if she's having concerns about the vehicle, is she going to come to you and y'all discuss what's to be done? You might agree with, okay, no, it needs to sit in the driveway for a week at least um, because he either has bad grades or, her, you know, he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do, insert whatever he may be doing here. Um, but as far as taking away, um, I don't see where the court's necessarily going to let her do that. Again, it's your vehicle. Um, but I think it also depends on, too, the co-parenting and potentially your relationship with mom. Does she know that you're purchasing this or giving your son this vehicle? Are you just going to surprise her with it? I, you know, I always tell clients you attract more flies with honey than you do vinegar. So rather than just potentially on Christmas putting a big bow on it and it showing up in the front yard, that is a conversation I would encourage you to go ahead and have with mom. This is why you're doing it. You're going to cover the costs. Um, and see what her issues are, if any, and then try and work through those with her. But, oh, sorry. Chris, no, 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 go, go ahead, go ahead, Courtney. I knew you, I was honestly going to pitch to you for, because uh. you said, like, <laughs> you were talking when we were talking about this question in the break. There's no way that mom could spin it, hey, or, you know, I, I'm taking this car, and it could be seen by the courts that she stole the vehicle. I mean, there, there couldn't be any way to spin it like that, right? Well, Aaron, I mean, yeah, kind of piggybacking that. Yeah. I mean, if mom's taking it for no good reason and mom's parking it or not assisting dad with encouraging uh, the child to, you know, to mature and, and have a vehicle and learn how to drive and be behind the wheel of a car, I would think, you know, that the court would frown on the mother acting that way, punishing the child, assuming that he's not had any, you know, bad behavior or bad conduct. So kind of asking what Courtney's asking, inquiring minds want to know, Aaron, if the mother takes it with with no basis for parking this vehicle does are there any criminal uh, issues there i don't know that there's necessarily any criminal issues there potentially are i'll leave that to the criminal attorneys <laughs> but i'll say i think that if um this would not be an issue that i would want to take in front of any of our judges right now or any of our uh, future judges uh, that are going to be taking over family law because this is something that really should be worked out between the parents. If it's a 17 year old who's very responsible getting ready for graduation, look, he's about to be an adult. Is this the whole point is to teach him responsibility or make sure that he's getting to honor classes or extracurricular activities? Maybe it's something where mom won't take him to extracurricular activities or can't get him to school on time. If this remedies that, then I don't know that she would have an argument as to why it, he shouldn't get it. But I do think that this is a conversation that if we go ahead and, and talk to mom, let her know, see what her concerns are and, and have that dialogue, then potentially it could all be avoided. So Aaron, I heard something that maybe our viewers did not really pick up on. Mm -hmm. The court systems are slammed. And when we talk about pettiness between uh, uh, parents who can no longer get along over something that should be or could be and should have been worked out, you know, I'd, I'd hate to be the attorneys representing those parents making those arguments to these to these judges who are still trying to hear hurricane cases mm -hmm. in addition to all the other things that are going on in Bay County. So um, if you're listening and if you if you think you want to you know get into that that uh, that arena, care, uh, Aaron will give you some good advice and she just said it. You know our judges will not you know they don't tolerate some of that right now. Yeah, great question from John and hopefully we answered it to our best ability. We